Alright, I'm gonna do a little tour of what an advanced life support ambulance has in it. I'll also show you a few other things, you know. Alright. Those are our new protocol books. Just got those a couple days ago. <clears throat> this is our jump bag, or some of you may call it a trauma bag, but we call it a jump bag. Same thing. I'll just show you some basic things in it. normal saline standard 500 milliliters stick kits in there too up here syringe scope kit it's used for intubation how it goes on just like that and that's how that works we also have oral and nasal pharyngeal airways it's our sharps container in there I got my flash on so sorry for the brightness or whatever it's a blood pressure kit it's kind of a mess right now We got adult, large adult, and child. And we do have a pediatric cuff too. That's in our pediatric jump bag. We have a BVM right here. And that's one of the main compartments on there. Now and here is our bandaging compartment. And you have four by fours, three by threes, five by nines, triangular bandages, cling, bite stick trauma sh uh, trauma scissors, oral glucose. Um, we also have trauma dressing and a burn sheet in here. where we keep a lot of our pediatric stuff is in there that is our pediatric jump bag that is our portable suction <laughs> up here we have stick kits more normal saline our needles our drug box and our easy I.O. drill right here. That thing's actually pretty cool. If we cannot get an IV, we will get one with that. It's pretty fun to use. 
These are our radios. That's our main one for Ingham County. And that's our one we use for maybe to talk to Livingston County or the next ambulance service. And this is also our main radio to talk to the hospitals. And up here, we have a Thomas tube holder, Kright Cat, King Airways, another BBM up there. We also have a pediatric BBM and a neonate BBM. OPAs, SPO2, and got our temperature right there. Our ET tubes right there, and a combi tube in that cardboard box back there, and our nasal pharyngeal airways on top of the cardboard box right there. And in here we have our adult nasal cannulas, our adult non rebreathers. We have a pediatric non rebreather and pediatric nasal cannulas. This is our portable radio, also. It's our wall suction, more hot boxes, and an extra battery for our life pack. Life pack 12. And we'll, we'll do a test, make sure she's working. No, and it does take a minute. Sorry for the wait. Come on. She's not very fast. Check printer. Hmm, I bet I'm out of paper. I am out of paper. Alright. I just waited for nothing. After this video, I'll have to replace it. I have no paper in there whatsoever. I'm actually kind of glad I did that. Now I know I don't have any paper. Actually, let me just do this right now. I'll go ahead and replace the paper here in a minute. In here... There's another bandaging compartment. One and three inch tape up there. We have non-sterile three by threes up there. Five by nines. We have a burn sheet and trauma dressing back there. Triangulars, four by fours, three by threes, cling. And in here is pretty much just our random things. We have your adaptic dressing, bite sticks, glucose, a ring cutter, and ammo ammonia inhalants. In here, we have your pediatric C collars and your adult C collars. Up here, 
Yeah, there's some N95s. Your hot and cold packs, surgical masks. And here we have bio bags. I miss this bags. A gown and some Kleenex. Under our bench seat, CPAP, extra oxygen tanks, that's pretty much it, that's your, that's an advanced life support ambulance, so I think I did an alright job. Alright, thanks for watching.